All right, motorcycle performance enthusiasts, for those of you who do not join us at the drag strip, we're gonna give you a treat. We're gonna give you a look at Eric from MTC's table. Eric, always great to see you. Good to see you, Jack. As the sign says, you always have specials at the track. You guys have such a great display. Why don't we take people through your table and tell me a little bit about what's going on? All right, well, we uh, we do rep a lot of the APE parts, so you can see we've got a good uh, selection of some of the popular parts here at the table. We've got more of them back at the shop, but we bring what we think is gonna move. Um, so we have all their great products here with us. Um, something new that we're doing more of this year is we're working with a lot of our engine builders and we're doing a lot of custom pistons now and we're trying to take some weight out of our pistons. Wow. So we have modeled these 3D models now and so we can write a program to go on the inside and lighten it. For example, this is the Monstar piston uh, for the, the new head that's out there. And uh, this is how we normally run the piston. Um, in its, in its stages, it's 360 some grams. So we have now modeled it and we've started writing some lightning programs. So the first pass through it, we took a, quite a bit of weight out of it, over 50 grams out of the backside. And we still have over 200,000 thickness. So I think we can go some more. Plus we can go to the sides here and take some more out of here. So we're just starting, but we're really gaining some momentum with this. Um, the guys that are running naturally aspirated or even the guys that are running nitrous, uh, we can make constant thickness tops now, which will be a better performing piston for them. That's amazing. Um, and you don't lose any durability by taking well, off that's, that? Well, you know, we do test and we work with engine buildings. So as we thin them out, we test with them. We've been working with, uh, on a four valve naturally aspirated, we've been working with George Babor. This piston here is amazing. So this is a four valve. Um, we lightened the inside, uh, took a bunch out of the inside. George actually went and took out a bunch out of the side. Um, this piston is now under 250 grams. That's it's amazing. amazing. And uh, it's <laughs> super light, super light. And that's what he's running this weekend. He's got a naturally aspirated motor that's performing better than most of the nitrous motors. Uh, just Ooh. amazing uh, build that he's got there. Now so. that's a hot topic right now in the NHRA because a lot of the Suzuki guys like Jerry Savoie, they say we want a four valve. Is this a little bit of a preemptive strike by you thinking maybe that rule will change? Well, I hope so. I hope we can help them guys. Um, like I said, we've been working with a lot of the builders and trying to see what we can get. And, uh, you know, he's close. He's close to building the same kind of horsepower that a lot of those guys are. I'm not quite there yet, but um, there's a lot of things, you know, like you do in pro stock. There's just lots of small details that make the difference there. He's probably 40 horsepower off of where they're at right now. Wow. So. Absolutely amazing piston. Guy, we're, guys, we're continuing on here with Eric from MTC. Something, something else new that we've got, the guy that wrote this great book, um, John yes. Steen, he now has the history of drag racing on a video. Amazing video. It is. Yeah. I've watched it. Really, yeah. really good. So we've got it here at the track for $20. If you'd like to have one, we've got several copies here. And we're repping him at, at the track also. Perfect. So. And you, people can buy those online from you as well? Uh, we don't have an online store yet, but they can call the shop and uh, order from Kim down at the shop and we can get it out for you. So. Sounds great. What's your number at the shop? It's one 800 uh, Let's change that. 321 <laughs> 636 uh, 9480. Perfect. So give us a call. So we've got, got lots it. of clutches here at the track this week. Yeah, let's see. This is so. a hot button, button item for the Hayabusa racers, right? And the sport yep. bike racers. Yep. Here's the brand new ZX14 that we have. Oh. This is the Gen 2 ZX14. Uh, we had to change the design. We had to move everything out because of the long input shaft that comes up through the middle here. So now instead of making you backdate to a Gen 1 input shaft, now you can drop this clutch right in the bike and go. And within two or three weeks, we're going to have a quick access cover to go with the 14. And our access covers are really nice because they split down here. Instead of up here at the lip, they split way down here. So when you open it up, you're down below the level of the top that you're working. So it's very easy to work on your hat. If you drop something, it drops outside of the motor instead of down inside. So very important thing when you're doing quick access covers is to get that split down and it's easier to work on that way. Drag racers are going to love you for that because uh, anybody who's drag race knows how often you got that clutch cover open. Just to back up here for a second for people that may be more casual, these clutches, I can tell you as a newbie drag racer, learning to work the clutch is the most difficult thing. You told me that this clutch can take an average racer and turn them into a great racer pretty quickly, huh? It does. I mean, what we're trying to do is, uh, you know, the old school, the um, I don't want to call it old school, but the hand clutch guys that were experts at feathering. I mean, that was the, that's what you had to be able to do. You could generate a lot of horsepower, but you had to get it to the wheel, and it was all done with the hand touch. You know, with these clutches now, we can, we can, um, we can soften that hit. You can now throw the lever, 
and it still generates more as it's, it's all engine driven now so it generates more lockup as you go down the track so it gives you the same lockup at the top end and it, it takes away the ability that you have to have to have a good feathering out on it and it hits it and goes and so they've been working great for us it's probably broke so far every every record out there i think uh, we've been able to break with these clutches now a lot of talented and successful sportsman racers run these clutches i know dustin lee was always a big proponent of you guys he yeah. loves that clutch yeah. And that look at the success that he's achieved. That's so. right. We're now these clutches are getting into some of the sportsman classes and uh, making them more repeatable. That's the key here is that this clutch can now in some of the MET classes just make you do the same thing every time, every time. It doesn't matter track condition, weight of the rider. It'll it'll be repeat itself every time. As long as your motor does what uh, what you tell it to do, the clutch is going to now transfer it at the same rate. Very cool, guys. Make sure you hit up Eric to check it out. And I see we still got some of the old school parts that MTC was yeah, known for, right? Brand new hat out this year, new design. So oh, that's good looking. If you need a new MTC hat, we got a new one out this year, and it's good to go. Excellent. Some of the, the older, oh, actually, you know, this is a Hayabusa clutch right here. What is this? Yeah. Is yeah, this, this is the, the old style. It's a snowflake style that runs off the inner hub in your back wheel. Okay. So. And we still got, is you got some of the KZ GS yep. stuff in stock? Yep, yep, this is a KZ two stage and multi-stage, and GS multi-stage, and GS two stage. Still big hitters, you know, with the, the rolling chassis and the, the old school bikes, which are still, still major. Well, Eric, thanks so much. It was awesome to get a yeah. look at your table. If anybody's watching this, I tell them, come out to a race, and they can take advantage of some of the trackside discounts that you have. That's right. We run about 5% off at the track here, so you save that, plus you save all shipping. And we've got uh, Kevin's here with us this weekend, so we got tech support. If you need some help, let us know. We're here for you. Perfect. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, you know, we're going to be traveling this year. We're going to do 12 races, so we'll be at all the XDA events. Uh, will be all man cup events and we're actually starting to make a lot of products for the harleys oh, wow. and so harleys are actually coming to orlando in may and so we'll be there we've got a bunch of new lockups for them so we're looking forward to penetrating that market a little bit thanks so much eric can't wait to see you this year great seeing you